Where are you? Some of you may be aware that when I go to these conventions, I like to do con vlogs. Yeah. Does that sound familiar? Yeah. So we, we have a, what is it, a 9.45 p.m. panel. We're back in the main hall. That's really cool. I want you guys to help me out here and make some noise! Before we get this panel going, how many of you last year were at the Who's Line panel? How many of you are ready for tomorrow's Who's Line panel? That is going to be wild. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start bringing some people up here, uh, some of which have been on Barney's Rec panels, some of which have never been on before. So, to start off, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go for an easy one here. Doesn't really need much of an introduction. It's kind of just there. Ladies and gentlemen, don't point at me like that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Saber Spark! Yes, they are. The next guy I'm going to bring up, he's been on a number of Bronies Reacts panels and all the fun stuff. He's also going to be performing, not only on Hoops Line, but also in the concert. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for Black Griffin! Hey. There he goes! That's, sorry, that's all he had time for. So. So the next. Oh, hi. Do you want to say something? Something. Beautiful. Beautiful. Who, who's next in line? The next person I'm going to be bringing up. This is going to be his first Bronies React panel that he's ever been a part of. He's been part of a number of Bronies Reacts. He just had a name change recently, but you should know this guy is that lovable Australian. Viva! The artist formerly known as Toon Link. Hi. I'm a Toon Link. How are you doing tonight? I am, well, I should be tired, but I, I today I learned about energy drinks. Um, so, so I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> who's next? We got two more. Please welcome to the stage a guy who's done plenty of animations, Brody Dance Party! we're going to be bringing up. His first panel was last year's Bronies React panel. You may have seen him walking around the convention with a camera. Welcome to the stage, Little Shaw! And this is your 2016 Republican nominees. <laughs> Racist Trump. <laughs> Yeah, racist. You know, I've actually, I've heard a lot of, hey, these got shorter than earlier. Oh! No, the VAs are just Must be cold. Oh, uh, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> so, I'm just excited to be back in this panel room for a Bronies react. Yeah! Hey, How's everybody's BronyCon 2016 been so far? <laughs> it's been pretty good. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Alright, Race, how's this gonna go down? So, what we're going to do is, uh, because we have a big number of people, eventually we're going to get into the QA, and we're gonna probably jump into that pretty what quick. Is that? It's too late. <laughs> order! Order in this court! There, there is a system we will follow. You're not. 
for those in the back, all right, I can. <laughs> So Thank tell you. me, all right, so. Oh yeah, what was it? Oh yeah, so Q and A we're gonna jump into because we always get a ton of questions and we want to get through as many of them as we can as the sun shines upon us here on the Vernon. Went blind. Ooh. Where's uh, our microphone, Brad? Oh, so we're gonna, we usually have a person who's uh, red with the microphone. Maybe I should have brought that. Uh, is there somewhere where we can have a line VA people would know this? We can line people. They'll pop their heads out here. We're all dirty one. Uh, if we could get a Q&A mic here. But while they get that ready, uh, I got some questions that I go through. Yes. Um, yeah, well, of course they're on it. How about, how about one more big round of applause for the Bernie Con staff? So, uh, I, I always love to kind of go through this just to get an idea of, you know, our crowd that we're working with. And you guys have been noisy and I love the energy in the crowd for tonight. Yeah. yeah. By a raise of hands, is there any somebody else uh, discovered energy drinks today as well? <laughs> By a raise of hands, is there anybody who has never seen a Bronies react? Oh, so wow. Of those hands, <laughs> go away. Yeah. Don't come back till you've seen every episode. <laughs> what they're expecting right now. <laughs> I expect nothing and I'm still let down. <laughs> That's my review for Zatopia. That's what your mother said to you. Yeah. It wasn't until the Zootopia joke came out that I had to let down. Sorry. Now, you were already were saying those words right during I knew what was coming. Yeah. I've been around you all day. <laughs> I'll get my revenge. So once once we do get the Q and A mic set up, we will go that round. But uh, I, let's see what other questions are I have. How many of you have seen the new Bronies React that came out a week ago? How many of you were like, why did it take forever to get out? How many of you don't actually know why? Speaking of Zootopia. <laughs> For the record, I only saw it 25 times in theaters, right? That's it. That's that good? Maybe. Maybe. 25 times? So, yeah? Yeah. Is that in theaters? 25 times in theaters? Yeah. Dude, it's worse than that. There was, there was one time, there was one time where Ace, he walked out of the theater to escort his mother to the car. He went back to the theater to watch again. He paid for a second ticket. Oh my god. Race no problem. Of course. He also yes. skipped out on a panel yes. at a convention. So <laughs> got chewed that was, out. That was, it was worth it. An accident in communication, actually. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we still don't have a red card. What's the red card for, red card? That should be a green card. Wait. <laughs> So, Objection! Uh, Up a roll! Up a roll. <laughs> Do we have a Q&A mic? Hey, we guys anywhere? With a stand or a stander? It's only mic! Oh, I hope they just word my new fanfic, yeah. all right? Yeah. All ready? Yeah. All right. In the beginning, yeah. Celestia created the heavens and the earth, and we never saw her again. Oh. Ten out of ten, right there! Hey, I get. That was beautiful. I get it. Uh, so how about we? I want to look towards the other side of the table. A little shy Brody dance party. How are your guys Brody cons been going? Very busy. Yep, same. <laughs> Thank you. You're both taller than me. <laughs> yeah, we are. Have you been in the vendor hall? I've, I've, I've lived there. Do you mean the vendor man? Hey, if you want to go buy some nice stuff, you should go see our table number two seventy. Uh, yeah, way in the back. For Ashley Nichols, I plug. Oh, uh, I have a Patreon. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Don't I have a bank account. <laughs> so, Mike? Mike? It was Mike. Okay, so for, for now, how about do we have a, a raise of hands? Who's got a question out there? You, yell out your question. Yes. Alright, so his question was, how did I react when I found out that One Punch Man is coming to Tanami? Does anybody here watch One Punch Man? Woo! Yeah! Oh, sure. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's getting released. There he is! One Punch Man! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
animation, acting, comedy. Check it out. It's getting an English dub of Toonami. To answer your question, I'm very excited. Obviously. What's that? Next Saturday at midnight. You with the two hands up. Yeah. So your question is about my name, Saber Spark, and how I'm a Padawan for lightsabers. <laughs> I picked my name because my Warcraft name, <laughs> what a loser, was Saber Steve, and that was taken on YouTube. So I'm like, I need so you went with inspiration. That's it! So you went with something edgy is what I Ladies and gentlemen, wait, can you please make a big round of applause for Try not Every to kill each other. You all have the right to a Um, as you probably know, there's been a lot of fair use violations. Have you ever been taken out by fair use? And what do you think we should do to protect fair use? So your question about the fair use. Good question. Okay. Here we go, right off the bat. <laughs> Any takers? Any of you guys have to... We need a panel just for that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Yeah, it's a big old shot. I've had a lot of fun time with that. My mom oh, yeah. fun, fun, everything fun, fairly. Fun. <laughs> and usefully. And usefully. Have you, have you guys had any, any issues with copyright? Uh, not really. Just one small claim, but you know, that's it. Oh, uh, uh, there were people that would troll my videos, and they would get taken down for like two hours. That's annoying. That's that's annoying, to, annoying yeah. I, get, I get copyright claims for videos that are private, so I'm like, <laughs> I've already won. <laughs> <laughs> they take down your channel, you're like, oh. Uh. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I mean, I, I had an issue with copyright which actually really slowed down the release of the newest Bronies React because my, my channel was put on probation. But then it actually got off probation early because I think I was good behavior. Off. Good behavior, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, we've, I think we've all had to deal with it and it's obviously a huge issue that we couldn't possibly even scratch the surface of. But I've been flagged for my own music. <laughs> this belongs to Black Griffin. <laughs> How dare you steal from me? <laughs> so, what's your question, Nora? Hi, Nora. Hi, Hi guys. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Cheers. Okay, Nora. it's a two-parter. First of all, what do you call this? That's a that's a dingle hopper. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, my question, my question is for you, babe. Really? Cheers. Oh, call that one. Weird. Okay. 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 You shouldn't be surprised by this. This is Nora, by the way. Everyone say hi, Nora. Hi. 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 So, okay, my question is, it's yes. pretty stupid. That's not a question. <laughs> it's a statement of fact. If he were a merman, what color would your tail be? If he was a I was a merman, probably the color my actual tail is. Peach. Um, I don't know. Probably black, right? I mean, black griffin. Totally. It's gonna be like shiny black, like leather. No, no, no. See, Gabe, is, Gabe is the opposite. Well, he'll have a human lower body with a fish upper body. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I wanted, I wanted to bring this up, and really? I've already. No. Okay. And I, and I feel like this is already the right segue since we're talking about like things from the ocean here. How many of you have seen Finding Dory? So a few of you. How many of you? I, no, don't worry, there's no spoilers here. I'm just gonna ask you about a single character. Do you guys remember the character named Becky? Yeah! Yeah! Uh, Bird? Yes. Did you notice that in the credits, there is no name, no mention of it? Of who voiced that bird? Do you guys want to know who voiced Becky? Who voiced Becky? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
it was a really like weird audition where they wanted me to be a loon and I just I made some stupid sounds like you know and I booked it and they uh, I was in Arizona at the time and I was like can you record remotely they're like no fly to Vancouver I was like fine so I flew to Vancouver and when I got there I was like so you must be the director he's like no I'm the engineer the director's in LA and I was like are you kidding me I flew over LA to get here and they're passing me into LA I didn't get a script and I thought, this is really unprofessional. <laughs> and I put the headphones on, and the guy's like, hi, my name's Andrew. I was like, I'm Gabe. He's like, okay, so we're just gonna give you intent for this character. We don't have a script. And he's like, so the intent, I want you to make a sound that means, what? Oh, that's perfect. No, uh, I want you to make a sound like, like you're trying to eat something, but you can't eat it, because it's not you know, edible. And it was just the weirdest, the whole, and it was a two hours of this. And he's like, giving your, your character bonds to a hiker, so make some love noises. Loon love noises? So yeah, I just kind of went, like that. And then I, you know, the session was over, you know, we said goodbye, and, and I left. And then a couple months later, I was in the movie, and the loons land, and it's like, say hello to Becky. And then, bright, I was like, Whoa, 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 what? They didn't tell me. They kept it from me until the movie came out and I actually saw it, so that was quite a surprise. There's a guy named Andrew Stanton. Oh! Yeah, so that was Andrew Stanton, the writer and director. You know the, um, uh, the dead I'm glad fish. I didn't say anything bad about Finding Nemo. Mine, 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 mine. The dead fish in the movie. I have to okay, next question. All day. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, this is kind of a technical question for you, Race. Um, we're starting our next Baloney's React, uh, Equestria Girls, Legends of Everfree. And uh, I was wondering, what are your tips for like uh, editing videos to find the perfect parts to make, you know, make an audience laugh, you know? Oh, man. Well, I, I go by two rules. A, if it makes me laugh, it's going to make it in for sure. Does it give you the meat sweats? <laughs> Excuse me? It's on his shirt. Yeah. It actually says baloney's rig. It's a thing. And then the uh, the other rule I kind of go by is sometimes a joke will go over my head, but I'm like, they obviously know what their joke was. Yeah, we yeah we pretty much had a problem with the last two baloney's react, so we're trying to improve. Too much baloney. <laughs> I know. Yeah, Trevor Shy here makes baloney's react. So yes, you just need to ham it up. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Howdy. So, my question. How do you determine who is going to be in each of your React videos? How much we pay, Grace. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in debt. It's getting really steep. Sometimes, yeah. Well, you know, when you're a Dory person, so... Oh, right. You're, you're charging me more. This guy right here is the one who picks him ultimately. And you do a good job of rotating it in and out. I try, I've always had the idea of making this, once it became a series, I wanted to have core, a core group of uh, reactors mixed in with a bunch of people that were putting in, putting out. And it's, it's all kind of, it's been a really fun mixture of uh, reactors. Sometimes it comes down to availability. Other times it comes down, like I'll go to people, for example, the, uh, is, is Twilight Spark? Yeah, where's Spartan at? Oh, is he here? Twilight yeah, we're, we're Spartan. Oh, yeah, Fire Team Harmony. Fire Team Harmony. You might have yeah, guessed. Awesome. I, yeah, that might be... Yeah, those guys are awesome! Yeah! Um, he, uh, anyways, the, the Spartans. You guys remember the Spartans from the last one? Fire Team Harmony. Do you guys like them? Yeah! They, uh, they were two guys that I ran into at a convention at Pacific PonyCon in San Diego. And I was like... Saber and I both were like, these guys are hilarious. We gotta have one. So it, it, it's always kind of just a mixed bag. So you kidnapped yeah. them. You kidnapped them. <laughs> well, like like Toon Link or Viva. I always call them. You can call me Toon Link. Link. Thank, Thank you, Toon Link. Yeah. Thank you. Like when I when I saw toys being thrown through castles, I was like, you know, <laughs> I see some potential there. <laughs> that was. Was it I actually brought the Celestia from the Flight of the Castle video to this convention. You did? Yeah. Oh. How'd you get that through TSA? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> it's a long, complicated series of mis... 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 
Adventures, that's the word. Yeah. Hold right. on. Thank you for your question. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hey, okay, I just want to say, hey again, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Thanks for your question. That was great. <laughs> the answer is yes. Okay, now I have to answer my question. When you're doing Bronies React, like what kind of videos do you choose? Like, do you choose some that are stupid, funny, serious? Well, they're all stupid. <laughs> You mean, you mean by episodes that we yeah, choose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the really basic formula, uh, it's probably kind of, uh, oh, not basic, is that we typically will always do a reaction to an episode, a premiere, a finale. Um, sometimes we've done other videos in the past, whether they're fan creations or videos that pertain to the fandom. Um, or the <laughs> Well, that was a Halloween react. I found the most terrifying thing I could in Generation 3 fit the bill. <laughs> no, it's, it's just, it's, I, I basically, a, a lot of it does, like, people will request a lot of episodes, and sometimes certain ones spike. And... <laughs> it's like, oh, I see it! Is that a hint? No. Oh. Hey, hey, Jim. Oh. Hey, let's spike! spike. Uh, Alright, so, uh... Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. You, you too. too. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hey guys. Hey. Hello. Hello. First, first, I have a real quick question for uh, Grace. What did you think of the tigers in Zootopia? They had body glitter. <laughs> <laughs> and that's hilarious to me. I know they've changed some people's lives. And they've given me new dance moves. I'm just so glad that Tony the Tiger's cousins can find work in this industry. <laughs> and then uh, my serious question is for Gabe. Obviously you had a really busy year making an album, doing the Finding Dory movie apparently, and doing other projects as well as balancing your free time. How do you balance it all and make sense of your, what seems to us like a chaotic schedule? I, I gave up sleep I think about four years ago. <laughs> No, I, I don't know. I, I guess I just I'm always going when I'm not sleeping. So I, I, if I have a chance to work on something, I will. And if I'm not working on something for work, like something voiceover or music, I'm building rockets or helicopters or something like that. My latest project's been rockets. I've been building. I had a really successful launch two days ago, so I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> That was not a successful Thank you. Yet. I made the mistake of naming a rocket after Larson, and it blew up in my face. That name was Kurt Mitch. Mitch came up to me today and went, Dude, that was awesome. Hi. Hi. Yes. Hey, thank you guys. Hey. Um, anyways, um... How successful did you think the Bronies React would be when you first like recorded them or when you first did them? The, for the first one, I had no idea it was going to do what it did. I, I thought, like, oh, you know, it might be a good idea to bring some familiar faces in the fandom together and react to this video that... We had Tombstone for the I did. Yeah, yeah Tomb, Solrak, Dusty, uh, Brony Mike, Denotive. Denotive, and myself. It was a six-person react. No, he had 10,000 subscribers. 10, yeah. He was a youngster. And, and back then I was like, wow, so 10,000 subscribers is gonna be big. I had, I had 167. So you gotta start somewhere, guys. And uh, no, I had no idea. I just remember, I think it was three days into it, and I'm like, why does this video have 100,000 views? What did I, I do? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. No, I'm not Canadian, so. Alright, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I had no idea. But um, it's been a lot of fun. Once, once the success happened, that's when we were like, you know what? Maybe we ought to turn this into a series. So, yeah. Now here you are. The rest is history. Here we are. I was starting to believe. Here we are. That's fine. Here we are. Get in the merging light. There's no turning back now. So we're 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 you too. <laughs> Yes! What is your question? I have a question for all of you. <gasps> That's me! What is your question? <laughs> That's a good Bro, question. Good question. <laughs> for the season 5 finale. I mean the season 6 finale. What was so for season 6 finale? Why are you, why, why are you guys going to say what's going to happen in the season 6 finale? I think Trump's going to win the election. Oh. <laughs>
What, what, what do you think? Um, oh, do I have to start? I was hoping you would, because I've got nothing. I think we're going to get some changeling shenanigans up in here. Oh, that's right. You, you guys got anything? I, I, I got freaked out for a second. I'm like, what year is it? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I know my thing in, uh, at the end of the Crystal Lake Part 2. I think that was Little Shy, didn't you have like kind of a, at the end of the react when that thing would fly by, didn't you have like zero? What did I even do? It was great, that's why I'm asking you. Uh -huh. I no, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe we will see something happen. I hope so! Well said, Grayson! Well said! Your perfect analysis. Equestria will explode. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, first for Saber and Race. I don't know if you remember me, but two years ago... We did Who's Line. Yes. Yeah. 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 Let me tell you, I was honored to do that, so... Likewise. I still remember it fondly. So do I. Good times. Now my question. Why do you buy clothes at the soup store? <laughs> So do I. <laughs> it's from the anime. Oh, uh, yeah, let me see. Uh, tomatoes. <laughs> What's your question? I know, uh, that, as Bernie's react, you want to focus on, like, you know, my little Bernie stuff, but do you see yourself ever making, like, a spin-off when you react to something like, I don't know, We Bear Bears? Yeah. The, the Fine Bros are sitting there, like, they're like, they're like, they're like no! <laughs> there, there are certain things that a lot of, like, for example, when Zootopia came out, yeah. they, a lot of people like, so Bronies react to 